Did you know you can use AI agents to create and update your Power BI semantic model in natural language? This is possible using the new Power BI modeling MCP server. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. In order to use this feature, you, you should first of all download Visual Studio Code, which I have here open. Then go over to this extension, install GitHub Copilot Chat. I've installed it. Install GitHub Copilot as well. Then also the Power BI Modeling MCP server. When you are done installing these three items, you can click over here where you have toggle chats to enable the chat AI chat bot. Go over to this part and ensure that you select agents. Then over here, you have option of selecting the LLM that you want to use, but I'm going to leave this on auto. Then connect to this. Ensure that you have your Power BI desktop file open. In my case, I have this logistics file here, and I'm using the November version, November 2025 version. Then I want to connect to this. To do that, I'm going to be using this prompt. Using Power BI MCP, connect to the file name, which in my case is logistics in Power BI desktop, then send. You can see that it has connected to this report, connection complete and all of that. And it did not request for any approval because I've connected to this report before. But when you are trying to do yours, it might prompt you to approve and do so. Then the next thing that we're going to do now that we've connected to this data set, we can decide to create a new measure in my case, I want to create a measure for average inventory level. So I can just type in natural language, create a measure for average inventory level. Send. So it's asking if I'm sure of this. I'm going to respond, yes, continue the operation. So I've confirmed, yes. So you can see over here that it has created a new measure for me. Average inventory level, which is average of my, let me expand this. Average of my inventory level column which is the correct thing. You can always verify whatever measure that it has created for you. Then the next thing I wanted to do is to rename or you can just this update. So if you want to rename all your columns, you can see that if you're trying to rename them individually, this is going to take time. So you can bulk update. So I want to rename all my columns using Pascal case. All symbols and measures using Pascal keys. So you can see that it has renamed everything and everything has run. So over here, you can see that all the measures and column names are now in Pascal keys. Another use case is to add description to these columns and measures. Assuming you have a report that you would like to understand what each column means and what each measure means, you can add it to do that. So I'm going to write the prompt, add descriptions. So all measures. Columns and tables. Then send. Now, when I over on each measure, you can see they now have descriptions added to them. Also, the column, you can see that descriptions have been added. This can be used for proper documentation of your reports. Like a follow for more.